Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this episode of a Design Systems mini-series I'm gonna talk to you about molecules and how we're gonna take you know what we previously discussed in the previous sessions and specifically the last session about atoms and build up forward to scale it into a molecular level of atomic design system. And so we talked about how we extract a lot of different atoms from existing experimental mock-up of our product. And now I want to start pre-fill the molecule so that we have the basis. As you can see, one mock-up produced us with so many different atoms like colors, text components we can reuse in styles, uh, icons. And then we start crafting profiles and then I realized, hey, this is already a molecule space. And so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to split these bits, these molecules into tinier atoms like photos as well as icons as well as the composition of a you know bubble underlying it and then port it into molecules so that we can scale it and i'm going to talk to you throughout the process so you understand exactly how you can start a design system and how you can maintain your design systems and make it a living document so as you can see as i just said it's all about this so i'm first and foremost i'm gonna just go ahead and detach from symbol because this is our symbol and this is something I created back in the day when I was crafting that mock-up I just showed you before. And what I'm gonna need to do is literally just take the bits from here. So let's say that icon and the other icon and just focus on the photo. So let's say this is gonna be our profile photos instead of profiles. So we are going back a little bit into the atoms and, and then the same is for that type of thing so let's say this is our the default one which is basically avatar if there is no photo and that could be anything inside and then you have also profile status icons which we also need to detach from symbol and in your case it could be anything really but you're you're gonna get exactly what i'm doing and why i'm doing it and that would be let's say splitting the icons as well because that's an atom it's not a molecule so it's going to be icons status away from keyboard let's say and the other one is going to be online so i'm just going to convert that icon again into icons status again online and now all i need to do is just literally maybe port those icons as a separate bit so this is going to be status icons and just add some background to it like so so we can actually see what we are and then just copy them in and you can already see how i'm maintaining my design system because i am i encountered an issue let me just drag it out of there and then we can actually use it for going forward and i only have a few icons for this specific case but that's okay let me just put it out again align it a little bit like this as long as we have a naming we're gonna know exactly what it is it's no longer an icon so we might need to split this one into something else so it could be let's say um, misc component or misc atoms and it's gonna be everything what doesn't align with the other stuff so we can actually go ahead and start producing our molecules so profile photos or let's say avatars better yet we have a photo of a person we have uh, something else and i can actually just extract we don't need those unnecessary folders because i'm gonna get lost within it let's see that avatar is that and that too as you can see i'm then can create a symbol out of that and save it this is our avatar slash avatar background let's say which way I can then select into anything. And then this is gonna be our symbol, which is gonna be avatar photo. So there's two different avatars. And then another atom is the status icons. So this is, let's say, create symbol, status icon on. And this is gonna be another symbol, as you can see, status icon AFK away from keyboard. And this is status icon do not disturb boom so now we covered those other bits in rightful way 
And now I'm going to show you exactly how we can use them as molecules because we have icons predefined, we have V's predefined, and we have other bits predefined, right? So what I'm going to go ahead and just go into molecules. And so one of the components is definitely going to be like a profile component or a profile molecule. Others are going to be, let's say, chat components and stuff like that. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to replicate. This is going to be profile. This is going to be chat and then so forth. So, you know, you could go ahead and just go crazy with it. So it's maybe actually no. Let's call this one avatar. This one we can call inputs. So we don't go overboard and we don't cover organisms when it really all it is is just a molecule. And now how I would design a molecule, let's say, or how I would replicate as I know how it looks like in the real world here is simply by inserting all those atoms we had before. So like, uh, let me just find out where did I put it? Avatar, let's say photo, like so. And then I can also add status icon. As you can see, some of them are just the leftovers from VR, so I need to delete those. But the basic atomic principle is that. So let's say I add that and I can just resize it to fit my needs. I'm doing it by eye right now, we don't have to. And then we can also add the last bit, which is basically the icons, which is the online, which is that one. And boom, now we created a basic molecule, basically. So all I have to do is just literally right click and just create a symbol and say molecule, let's say, slash profile slash avatar. Boom. And now I have my symbol or I have my molecule. And now every time I would design an organism, I could do the same here and just design all those molecules out of it. So let's say if in an organism, if I'm designing a some sort of panel with a chat box, all I need to do is just go to document, find my molecules, insert it, and then I can scale it that way because I start with the smallest bit, now intermittent bit, and then I'm gonna go into bigger scale and bigger things. Simple like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and design each and every molecule based on what I already have in my product design in this mockup and experimental page and convert that into tangible atoms and then molecules, which I then can assemble into different uh, organisms going forward. I guess the key idea here, you know, once you have your mo atoms and molecules defined is that once you create a, a symbol out of a molecule, later on, you can able to just override most of it, just like, you know, you would do with nested symbols in sketch. So that's the best bit about it, because let's say if I want to change this icon now, in my designs to away from keyboard. I can also then change, you know, different other bits. So let's say maybe I'm going to go to into a, do not disturb and I can quickly change or I can change even the photo if I want to I have only two defined right now, but I can even override it in the design. And so it gives that scalable flexibility. As I was just inserting this molecule of teams, if you remember, I was defining icons before in an atoms. This is a good an example of where the molecule transition into organisms like right here. So for example, here, let me explain what is molecule here and what is an organism, let's say, or what's atom. So the atom is really this icon of the teams. The text field is an atom. The two is an atom the bubble around the two is also an atom. This bit is an atom. A background is an atom as well. Now, the molecule here would be these two, let's say. Same as for that, I would say that these two are a molecule because both of them would need to be changeable. Um, and the same for the background. And so what I'm going to do, I'm still going to start defining bits by bits here to be molecules. And so that 
later on I can easily insert it into organisms and scale that way, right? I think it's a bit more clear for you as well, guys. And so I'm, I might even keep the same syntax like atom notification number and then have the same for that red bubble and just also have it as a atom notification and boom two of them I can then create another symbol and now I'm gonna have a molecule molecule notifications boom Also, one pro tip, as you can see, I'm still working on it. There's a lot of to do. Think about which things you want to include in design systems and which you don't really have to. Because if you think about it, I was just looking at it and there's so many different molecules. Try to capture only the basics first because you're gonna have to iterate and update the atoms and molecules and organisms and so forth. And so you're gonna have to maintain and evolve them. You don't wanna botch it and make every single mo molecule you know, ingrained because there's gonna be just so much to update in the end. So focus on first converting you know, a few major ones. Like let's say in my molecules right now, I have avatars, I have buttons, you know, some of the call to action elements, I have indicator, I have tabs, which I'm going to do next, I have inputs. And so once I'm covering this, I'm probably going to go into chat things, which are going to become organisms containing these molecules and making bigger type of things happen. So let's go ahead and just do a tab really quick. And I'm just going to showcase of how I'm going to approach that. But you're going to remember that first and foremost, you're going to have multiple of different bits. So you could convert these bits into atoms. So let's see, this is definitely an atom that's already converted into an apple that that plus. And so I'm just going to go ahead and just create symbol of that one. So let's see atom under bar, I don't know how you would call that even. But you could even go put it on a tab under tab if you want to, but I'm just going to say under tab. And then I'm going to select all those bits, like so and just convert it into another one, which is going to be molecule tabs, uh, chat top or something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely botching in a lot of all the bits. I mean, you, you probably would have to think quite well of what you're actually going to add, but you're just going to see that he, here I have a tabs molecule simple as that and that's very easy then to insert into different ones different mockups different organisms and then escalate from there and the same i'm going to do immediately with this bit as well as you can see this one logo is not yet connected so i'm going to say icons maybe logo or something like that and then this one is also not yet connected so that's going to be atom icons let's say uh chevron right or something like that and then you can even go more specific like logo chevron right and then the last one is icon more which i have already defined however i might just want to go in and just add icon atom next to it because that's our convention right now again so i know exactly which is an atom which is a molecule maybe that's going to help you as well and i'm going to take all those three elements and create a symbol, which is going to be molecule, let's say title strip or something like that. Boom. And now I'm going to go back into molecules and I can add it into our tabs. Or it could be headlines, it's really up to you. So maybe I'm actually going to have this like this. And then just recreate and I'm going to call it let's say chat elements. Mm -hmm. And so that that already gives you an idea of what you could put in and, and what you shouldn't put in in these bits. Next is an inputs, which is quite easy. So I can just convert these to atoms. Boom, and that's done. And there's an icon as well. You could put it under a dark background if you wish. I'm just going to keep it the same. And I'm just going to go ahead and just call it search component and then I'm going to have, uh, let's say post component as well, which is another input you saw on my 
screen, which is this one. And they're totally two totally different ones. So we kind of have to treat them as that. So atom input uh, post box. And I'm just going to take those and convert, create a symbol. And it's going to be molecule input post. Boom. I might forgotten about one or two of them and that's totally fine. You know, it's kind of like you can also wait, let me add a really quick background color to it. Perhaps something like this. But you see how I am just going through my existing design, which let's say a user tested and I'm creating molecules out of it and going forward, you know, in this episode, I think it's enough to cover molecules because you get the drill of how you can create different components. In the next episode, we're going to go into organisms, meaning I'm going to start creating or recreating the specific chat boxes, for example, or specific header element, because this header element, let's say, with all the icons, with the bits, the, the molecule I created, is really just an organism. It's that component type of thing, which, which now here is where we are gonna go into specific of how we combine the components into different templates and then pages. And so it's almost like a chasm we're gonna have to cross, where you're gonna take all the bits we created in the atoms, if you remember, then in the molecules and now in the organisms and then we're going to start fletching out the specific bits which you would put in let's say wireframes or in your product design and then ship in a different type of uh, new combinations and so i hope this was useful i hope you start to understand because you know in a real life scenario you would spend hours of this and it would be throughout the project life cycle of a product design and so this is just a glimpse of how i would approach from total zero from just a mock-up which i let's say user tested and it's been proven to be good into something which is actually you know a scalable maintainable living design system which i can share with other people and we can work thereafter um, you know, in better ways. And so uh, give a like, subscribe to this channel as per usual. Stay tuned for the next episode. If it's already published, check it out and then continue understanding of how I'm fletching out and scaling this design system in Sketch. So stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time.